I'm back. All right, one back. Uh, so, as we were talking about before, you are planting all these seeds, and then the second day, because plant growth, you can cast it at different lengths of time, right? Okay. If you cast it at the longest time, like, I think it's within a mile radius of you, all of the plant growth becomes enriched, and it's really awesome, it does neat stuff, right? So, so the second day... After you kind of question when you're planting the seeds, and this is just for shiggles, like, because you're forever optimistic, right? Yeah. Like, are you skipping as you go? I wouldn't say skipping. I'm a bit too big to skip. That's fair. But, you know, I, I stay are a nice... flower growing these seeds, though? More like Johnny Apple seeding them. The closest... I'm singing a fun song. That, <laughs> the closest that you can be to skipping. Yeah. So, after the first day, you're out there, and you're kind of in the center of where you've been planting all this. And you just start <laughs> praying, doing your, your casting thing. Mm -hmm. And Eight again, because it's, it's, it's not vicious mm -hmm. anyway, I would imagine that you probably tell them, tell someone yeah. that's what you're doing so that they don't come out with like ballista and fuck your shit up. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> So you you finish it, and then all of the seeds around you, you know, you see a little a little green, and then trees. Trees. Your forest forms. Uh, now, is this like a bunch of ty types of trees? Do you have one particular type of tree? It'd mostly just be what would best survive in this environment. So, like evergreen. Little trees. Local, local trees. Pretty much, Got yeah. it. Okay. And a bunch of stuff grows up. Um, grass actually will grow up. It won't last long, but because of the spell, mm -hmm. you know, it sprouts up. Very hardy uh, grass. Very hardy grass. And that freaks them out a little bit, but they're um, they're initially freaked out, but then it's like, oh, wood supply. <laughs> Cool. Uh, they don't immediately go out and start chopping down trees. They could. Yeah, I know they could. <laughs> that would be an interesting uh, thing. They'll probably talk to you about it. I would assume. Anything else you guys want to purchase? Yes. How much are potions of supreme healing? The, the, the ones that do 60. Uh, let me see. This is the list. This is here. very rare. Very rare. Yeah. Well, right. But I have to <laughs> look at the list and see how many there are. Okay, so healings are 50. And like multiplies by three, right? Okay. So, superior healing are 150. Superior healing are 450. And then supreme healing, uh, 450 times three is 12, uh, 1500. That's ridiculous. Okay, I'll go with the 450 ones. <laughs> I'll take. Is that right? I think so. Because I can get more hit points per. 12. Yeah, it's 1500. Okay. Uh, I'll get a bunch of the 40s. I'll get like, say, five. Uh, 40 superiors? Those are the ones that do 40? Yeah. I'll do 5 of those. So it's 150 times 5? Wait, what's that? It's, four, it's 450. 450. Yeah, okay. So it's 450 times 5. Do some math for me. Like <laughs> Actually, it's 1350. Okay. So Fair 1350. Enough. It's 1350 for the, for the big ones. Wow. Well, I'll still have the 450s. I'll get two of the Supreme. Um, okay. So, 450 times 5, it's 900, 1800, uh, 2250. Okay. So, about five of those. Um, how much are potions of. Invulnerability? Vitality? Potions of vitality? Yes. Oh, nice. Removes exhaustion. Yeah, I just noticed that. I don't know how I never noticed this existed. Uh, that's pretty dope. We'll say that those are also very rare. We'll make them 1500. 1500, about one of those. Okay. And then there was uh, speed, potion speed. Oh, nice. The haste potion. Yeah. It too is very rare. We'll say that that one is 1200. About two of those. Okay. He has potions for days, so that's fine. All right. Sounds good. 
Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Apu. <laughs> and you're buying some Supreme Healing? Okay. Two. Got it. We'll say for the sake of the others that they were not with you on this shopping endeavor. And that is fine. After shopping, you all return to Appleshire. Can we assume that Tommy has all of them refilled? Uh, yes, you can calculate that and reduce his gold accordingly. Okay. Um, that's fine. When you return to Appleshire, as you kind of teleport... Or I'll gate, go straight into the castle. You gate, like, inside? Or no, no. the outside? Like, outside. right by the entrance. Okay. You gate... Out to the entrance of the castle. I would assume we've warded the damn place by now. Uh, we haven't really considered or talked about that yet, but that's fine. Um, and where the field was, where the battle took place, where the battle took place, off away from Appleshire, where it was normally just flat kind of a plateau kind of area, mm -hmm. and then a path that leads down off of the mountain, or like away from Africa. There's a forest that was not there before, two days ago. Just kind of take a double take. I yeah. Uh, it's too far away for you to really see anything, um, unless you want Evander to like look through his scope. Or something. Sure. Give me a perception check. Uh, it's a 20 total. 20, a dirty 20. Dirty 20. All right. Uh, Evander sees between the trees, because they're not terribly thick. It's not, like, super thick forest. Uh, so, like, between the trees, walking around is a, uh, how tall are you? Uh, uh not me. Uh, 6'5". Six 6'5". Five. Six five is a, a fairly tall human man wearing uh, full plate armor that is uh, very tree-like in its design. There's like leaf, uh, embossed leaves, uh, leaves rather. Uh, you have kind of bark etched armor. Hey guys, there's a tree dude down there. And and, <laughs> and he seems to be... Uh, can you speak with plants? I don't think I took that ability. Like, is that a part of the... Is that enough for the age thing? Mm, I can speak with animals. I can't speak with plants. Okay. Fair enough. <laughs> you see him uh, actually... I can commute with nature. That, that's a different thing. No, but, no, but still. Uh, so actually, this is funnier. Um, you see, because the dwarves have sort of large goats that they use as mounts, right? And uh, some of them are in the forest, you know, eating grass and mm -hmm. like chewing on trees as goats do. Uh, and you actually see him talking to some of these goats, they're like like surrounding him. He's like telling this this story, or it appears that he's he's telling some kind of story to these goats or talking to them, uh, which is not weird necessarily, because you've seen other individuals talk to animals um, in the like, so. What do you do? So I, I assume Evander tells us this. He's talking to goats. He's a tree dude. He's talking to goats. <laughs> that is marvelously unhelpful. All right. Walk up to one of the guards. Uh huh. Up by the front door. They. they... All right. Me king. Yeah, that's what I was waiting for. <laughs> so, um, question for you. Yes. What the bloody hell is that? Pointing at the forest. That is Bran Stormwind. Who the bloody hell is Bran Stormwind? 
Uh, he's a paladin, a member of the Order of the Tainted Blood. Apparently, do the talks to go. Oh, all he's right. come to uh, to join you. He said the guild requisitioned him from the order. Uh, okay, and then all right. You need a healer or something. No, uh, not a healer. I don't. Just know. A super super yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, it's I'm just relaying. Excuse me. I'm just relaying the yeah. info. Sorry, King. <laughs> you want to be scrubbing the floors in the barracks? Nay. I didn't think so. No. <laughs> I didn't think so. <laughs> Alright, when, when he gets, you when he tank. starts to come back, just tell him to go, come to the throne room. Aye. Me King. Aye, me King, my ass. <laughs> <laughs> Walk inside, my boy. <laughs> Stupid forest. <laughs> You all go. Um, give me a perception check, Bran. Perception. Because gate makes kind of a very obvious gate. Yeah, flashy light. Thirteen. Kind of Thirteen. He's not perceptive. Nope. Okay. Cool. <laughs> I am too busy uh, regaling these goats with my stories. Yes. Uh, you. You. Totes my goats. <laughs> <laughs> wow. You are having too much fun talking to the goats, and do not. See I, that I happen. somehow remember Terrence Stamp saying that. Why do I remember that? Was that a commercial? I don't know. Probably. Abigail is my favorite goat. Yeah. <laughs> she listens very well. Please tell me you're just not a New Zealander and you're not trying to talk up the goats. <laughs> no. <laughs> he, 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 he just listens really well. Uh, yes. They're, they, they very much like your stories. Uh, and... Some of the dwarves that like train these goats are just loud <laughs> by the fact that they all just kind of you just start talking to them. And what's what's even funnier is that you know you're like making goat noises at them. <laughs> and they're kind of surrounding you. Yeah. So pretty much you sound like the the, the Martians from uh, yeah, you, what what is that movie? Mars Attacks. Mars Attacks. Nice. <laughs> uh, <laughs> right, exactly. Uh, so they're just like, what the fuck is up with <laughs> this guy? But eventually, probably like a couple of hours after they arrive, is when uh, <coughs> one of the dwarves that are out there kind of calls to you uh, and tells you that they are in fact human. Oh my god. <laughs> they are in fact. That they have arrived uh, and are currently inside of Afflesnar preparing to move forward. Mm, good. Well then I commend the, the guard for his wonderful job and then move on to inside. Yeah, you're like, cool guard, thank you, and you're like, yeah. Matt, 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 and there you go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Commendable good. effort, my young friend. <laughs> that's that's good. He says, sure. <laughs> I'm gonna return to my yeah. Uh, so you go, and they let you in. Mm -hmm. uh, They've been given orders too. Yeah, and you are escorted to the throne room. Which is basically just the first room you enter when you're going to Alphashar. The big antechamber. I'm gonna have to fix this place up a little bit. Um, Put the throne room in a nicer spot. And he is sitting on the throne. Um, the others are like at one of the tables that are there having lunch or something. They're, they're eating. Um, oh, did Elric stay behind in Sardex City? Yes. Um, Elric was called for for a meeting with Merrick. And a few other yeah, people. That, that dude scares me. He can stay there. <laughs> Merrick? Yeah. He's a beast. Proceed. Are you the one who's been planting forests in my kingdom? Aye, friend. Why? To friend pal. To pal buddy. <laughs> That, that's not an answer. I figured I'd green up the place a little bit. At least we've got more firewood. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> an unbridled so, optimist. Yeah. <laughs> so, 
My guards told me that the guild sent you. Aye. Wait, is that offensive? I'm trying to learn the language around here. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that's good. I grab the, the, the axe of the High King, <laughs> turn it into a hammer, and just... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's really good. I work, Slotty. Um, <laughs> I, I suppose we're happy to have you join us. Um, I, I see from your general appearance you're a paladin. Correct. Always good to have another holy man. I'm a cleric myself. He's here, I'm Fuck the gods. <laughs> that too. Whips <laughs> forward and throw it right at you. <laughs> Roll an attack. <laughs> do, do it. <laughs> Let me off we tried this once. <laughs> that one down. Natural twenty. Oh god! Yeah. <laughs> and you're not okay. You're not raging. So go ahead and, and roll roll your your lovely damages. And since I'm finally back to the dwarven thrower, that is two d eight. Are you going to put any divine smite into that? You don't have to worry about yes. pissing me off. Or uh, <laughs> whatever it is that you get as a cleric. Is that what it's called? Divine smite. No, it's not divine smite. That's a paladin. That's thing. paladin thing. You don't, I to, can do. You no, don't actually, have to worry about pissing me I think off. I get divine smite. You have to worry about pissing your swag off. <laughs> I'm not the one you gotta that. worry about. You can do like additional damage. Every I turn. have a smite spell that I think. No, I don't. It's not a spell. It's I forget what it is. You can like. It's a war priest ability. You can do additional radiant damage. Oh, uh, it's no extra weapon every damage. Every round. Two d eight. Oh. On top. Extra weapon damage. Mm -hmm. Okay. You gonna do that? Yep. <laughs> Just for shiggles. <laughs> oh. Imch has hit points for days. Yeah. How many hit points do you have? That's why I'm not worried about this. Good god, dude. 255 hit points? Yep. So that's... Max damage on that would be, what, 48? So 4 times 8... 32? No. I got that backwards. 4, times, four times 8 is 32. 32. Ow. 32 plus... Let's see... 14... Uh, 46 mm -hmm. uh, plus 12 so 58 58 damage that's, right to the back I of your fucking head I just glance it off <laughs> that's a uh, yeah so a, a hammer comes in slams you right in the chest and that's, that's no, it's a, the back of the head he's sitting away from oh, me I'm hitting him in the back of the, the back fucking of the head. head okay ting ting <laughs> it, and, and, it, and it flies back to your hand what, um, what'd you say, bitch? That was a fifth. It said, fuck the gods. <laughs> <laughs> Not bothering that with that again. <clears throat> yeah. Fair enough. It's Divine Strike, by the way. Divine Strike, that's what it is. That's like every turn. Once, Once per, per turn. turn, doesn't run out. That's ridiculous. I love it. <clears throat> Alright. So, anyway. Yeah. Not, but you know... Stupid One thing that you point. notice, and I won't make your whole perception for this, but on his, like on on the breastplate of his full plate armor, is the sigil that is the order of the tainted blood. So you so you know that he has. Uh, actually, give me a history check. Anybody that wants to do that can do that. Seventeen. Nope. Seventeen. Okay. I have a plus one to history. He, when, when he introduces himself, you actually heard of Bran Stormwind. Someone as high level as Bran is, you, you've heard of him. Um, he has made circles in the Order of Tainted Blood uh, as far as they have killing, lodging here too. As far as killing uh, undead and, and that sort of thing. Hello, Rosie Cat. <laughs> <laughs> Usually not you up here. Nah, he's usually him. Come here, kitty. <laughs> like, nope. Nah. Rude. <laughs> Alright. That's fine. <clears throat> so, he has made an, a name for himself. You know that he, based on what he has done, like, he would go, especially later on, mm -hmm. right, he would go and clear vampire goblins. Like, for shiggles. But yeah. Uh, just kill them all. Mm -hmm. Wham, wham, wham. Stabby, stabby. 
Well, no, you use a hammer. A hammer, I smash. Yeah, he has he has a big hammer as well. I, I've I've heard tales of your exploits. You're you're very well known. Yeah, well, I like to try to stay humble. <laughs> you're in the wrong <laughs> group, my friend. <laughs> well, I I would say that you're welcome to join fate. I mean, we can always use more bodies to throw at the enemies. And you can feel as it gets close to you that he just like emits this 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 well aura yeah what it is. <laughs> that's what it's called uh, uh, of revitalizing kinds of energies well that feels nice yeah <laughs> you feel kind of, warm and fuzzy <laughs> <laughs> you've got courage of you got courage you feel resistant to spells did you take uh, destructive wave. Uh, yes, At fifth level? It's so stupid. <laughs> yeah. It's so stupid. It's gonna be it, fun to cast it, that. It, it does, it does a lot of damage. Uh, it's the only AoE spell that Paladins get. Mm -hmm. And I noticed, uh, and this happens, but in the Paladin area, it's called, uh, Destructive Smite, but the spell is Destructive Wave in the book. Like in the spells area. Hmm. Yeah. So that's that's like the uh, prismatic wall spell. It can only be taken down by a rod of cancellation, which does not exist in 5e. <laughs> oh, that's right. They copied and pasted from. from I Pithicus. saw that. That's funny. I actually uh, mentioned it on Twitter to Jeremy Crawford. He goes, "We fixed that in like the sixth printing." It's like, oh, I did not have that book. So is that like? So is that now in the DMG, or did they just take? Yeah, in the, si in the sixth printing, they fixed it. So they added that item? No, they just removed, removed that, that line. Text. Okay. I will delete that line. It's in the errata. Fair enough. That's a beast of a spell. Prismatic wall is wonderful. Prismatic spray is just yeah. as cool. So I've got a sword. So you guys know this. If you don't have access to this. Prismatic wall presents it creates an inch thick wall that is basically like rainbow. Seven different layers. layers. To get through it, you have to go through each layer. Each layer, the first like four or five layers, do 10d6 damage of some type. Oh, wow. Fire, cold, acid, whatever. The very last one is uh, if you fail it, you're blinded. If you fail it again, you go to a different dimension. Well, no, one of them is banished, <coughs> one of them is blinded. Actually, no. If you're within 20 feet, you're blinded. You have to make a save with your own. Crazy. What is an out level spell? That's I just point. added that to the rune mage stuff. Fun stuff. Um, anyway. Anyway. <coughs> so. I, I, I suppose we're happy to have you join us. And I um, mean, it looks like you use a warhammer. I've got a spare that you may enjoy. I will. I will never turn down an offering. Pull down. Pull out the Doom Slayer warhammer. Here, try this on for size. Uh, it actually kind of flies to your hand. Oh, oh, well, alright, you don't like me, then fuck you, too. <laughs> and, uh... <laughs> Later. Because you kind of abandoned it. A little bit. Yeah, you pissed <laughs> off. I told, I told uh, him I'd reattend to him when, when I had time after the whole thing. And, and it, didn't. <laughs> and I did it not says do that. to you, because they are sentient. <laughs> yes. Someone worthy of wielding me. Oh, throwing shade it off God. <laughs> <laughs> just saying it to him, I can't hear it. Yeah. Fuck him. Um, it's, it's just like inside of your mind. Um, you have slain many that I enjoy slaying. Perhaps there is more of that to come. Oh, friend, I'll do my best to... Oh, what the word? I just had the word and I lost it. <laughs> oh, I'll do my best to be worthy of you. Yeah, it's a ridiculous... Powerful weapon. It looks like a Daedric War. Okay, I can dig it. Like, like Skyrim. <laughs> I just like the fact that I thwarted it out of his hand. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, it functions. Uh, you actually can feel it kind of shift. Mm -hmm. And um, it doesn't change visually, but you can feel its power change from what it was. Which was teleportation mm -hmm. to be reminiscent of a holy avenger in the sense of its aura. 
Uh, so it, it basically loses the returning or the, the, the teleportation property and gains that delightful. Uh, and uh, that's good. Okay. Uh, let's see. All right. We'll be right back. <laughs> 